Anambra State Government has taken delivery of about 5,000 dignity kits donated by the United Nations Population Fund for victims of flood disaster. The items were to support women and young girls who are currently in flood submerged areas of the state and targeted at ameliorating their sufferings. We bring you the details. Anambra State Commissioner for Women and Social Welfare, Mrs. Ifi Obinabo, appreciating the organization for their support, especially as it concerns pregnant women and young girls. Mrs. Obinabo noted that with the items received, victims of flood will be well taken care of. She explained that with the support, the state will be adequately prepared ahead of the next flood by training personnel in readiness for the flood and assured the United Nations Population Fund of the state's readiness in partnering them to promote the well-being of women and girl child. You've done a wonderful job. So, in the Anamda, uh, in a small chance, we know that most of them, uh, they've come back to their different homes. But I know that they came out without anything. They didn't save any of their properties. So it's still going to be of great use to them, great support to them. So on behalf of Umuwa and Indiana, I am so grateful. We are grateful. We cannot thank you enough. While handing over the items, the Humanitarian Coordinator, United Nations Population Fund, Dr. Macaulay Christian explained that the mandate of United Nations Population Fund is to protect vulnerable women and girls who are victims of flood disaster, rape and abuse. This is the first point of entry because we know as the women are in the IDP camps, they do not carry along the yeah, basic care property. So of course their menstrual needs needs to be addressed. The dignity kids have all of these items to to address of the immediate needs of women and girls. So we will be very, very uh, happy, of course, to continue working with the state government through the Ministry of Women Affairs to support the most affected victims of uh, the flood here in uh, Anambra State. The team from the United Nations Population Fund had earlier interfaced with the Commissioner for Women and Social Welfare where they intimated her that delivering a world where every pregnancy is wanted, every childbirth is safe, and every young person's potential is fulfilled remains the priority of the organization. The group later donated some items in collaboration with the Royal Heritage Health Foundation. <laughs> 